click this and I say, yo, what up? How's it going? It's great, man. Just lost a bunch of people channel points on heads. So. <laughs> oh, no. Well, we are doing a uh, Deck Doctor on Shigaraki under fire. How cool, how cool, how cool. Um, hit me with the elevator pitch. I'm going to go snag some cards for your sideboard. Yeah, so the general pitch is that I want to deny my opponent as many resources as possible and kind of eventually win the game. The problem is that eventually win the game part is the problem I have with the deck. Right. I did a, I'm doing a really great job making, my, making sure my opponent has no resources. Um, multiple games, my opponent's going into their third turn with one foundation. Um, awesome, right? But I can't kill anybody. Um, these attacks are really cool, like Monster Blast plus Lowe's and a Frigid for an off zone. It's a cool idea. You don't want to block some of this stuff, right? Like, you don't want to block Exploding Pride if you're a momentum deck. But they don't do any damage. Shiggy only gets you so far. And... The problem I had in the provisional this weekend um, was I had multiple matches. Uh, so the last two before I ended up dropping that I won game one after like 35, 40 minutes. And then instead of time coming, I tried to kill them, overcommitted, lost, and either drew or in one case, like in Sochaka, we went to a game three and he had like triple indiscriminate and just killed me in one <laughs> turn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I, the, the pitch is like, my opponent doesn't get resources. I blow up all your foundations with Evil Gaze, Monster Blast, Shiggy, and then I have 12 Breaker Blocks. Um, uh, you get to do one thing, I'm going to fully block it, and then I'm going to go back to my turn and I'm going to poke you and like generate some momentum and then kill you. Yeah, I dig that. <clears throat> that is neat. Um, here is the biggest issue, in my opinion with Shigaraki, and that is the lack of speed. And you have chosen, under the fire symbol, um, the, 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 under the fire symbol, the harder of the two builds, which is the range build, right? You get to do cooler stuff disruption-wise, right? Um, Firestorm, or Ice Storm feels good. Giant Ice Wall feels good. Uh, Sugar's power-up is speed. Yep. At the, that's Ice gliding? Yep. Defrosting, sort kind of? of? <laughs> I mean, yeah, there it? are times where I defrosting by attack to, like, give it a little bit of speed and minus one damage just because, right, like, I'm going to do five extra. I don't care if it does three versus four. Um, right. But, yeah. Um, that That is a valid point. It wasn't really the problem. The problem was I just couldn't, I couldn't kill people. Uh, like, I, I added the Revel the last minute, like, Friday night just as a little bit of extra damage to try to get there. Mm -hmm. Um because I, I found playtesting at Locals, like, last Wednesday. I'm super defensive. Like, shockingly defensive. I did not think the deck would be so good at defending. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just, I just can't kill anybody. So, what happens whenever we take and we add in a 5-speed move and a 5-speed move? That makes it easier for you to play cards, right? Um, so, like... The big thing about like massive flash freeze and nitro explosion ignition is it, it, it says that they get like, like, yes, damage hurts, but speed is what wins you the game, right? Um, if you just get blocked over and over and over again, it doesn't matter how big this number is. This could, this, this ice storm could be a four low for 612, but if it's only a four low, then it doesn't get there, right? Same thing with this monster blast being like, like, that's, it's a tough, that's, that's a tough sell, right? Um, I like this idea of the Monster Blast deck, but I think that, like, it's really good at telling your opponent not to have foundations. But, like, if they have no foundations and you can pump the speed a little bit, then you win the game, right? Which is where maybe having something like go for the win as a uh, extra pump, extra speed pump, might be where it's at, right? Because, um, like, if you tell them, let's, let's, let's hypothetically go through a turn, right? Um, you go first, you build out your four foundations, they go, they build out their four foundations, you go, you put them down to two, and you build out the six foundations, right? Um, and you hit them once, and you burn them with their exploding pride, you burn them for the eight, because um, they don't have momentum yet. And then they go, and they build back up to four, maybe five foundations, and then you go, and they've got the five foundations, and you can't destroy the foundations again, then you have to be able to get over that wall, right? Which is where your sugar rush evil gaze, and now... 
uh, go for the win says that plus two is a little bigger. Just like a little, just a little more to get the one poke in to hit the burn five, and then I'll set myself right back up again. Um, things like Frozen are really good at cracking that wall. Things like Frozen uh, are good at cracking that wall. So like maybe, maybe, maybe like right, like Frozen is the thing that lets us get there, right? All you have to do as Shigaraki is you gotta touch them three times. If you touch them three times, they're dead. Fifteen plus whatever damage you touch them with kills them right um because they're not taking just one they're taking two so it'd be 15 plus an extra we'll assume three on every one so 15 plus an extra nine that's 24 damage that's assuming that they're they're, they're going to die maybe we have to do it four times right depending on if they're like a five-hander if they're a five-hander you you win you just win the game versus five-handers there's nothing a five-hander could do against against a monster blast deck actually nothing yeah right and so <clears throat> do you think question for you do you think that monster blast and its idea is better than whatever Brutal Explosion can do. Um, I think it's a different deck. Okay. Um, so part of part of what I was doing was also like, Fire doesn't have a ton of draw power. So sure. That's why I was looking at Frigid Heatwave plus ranged to get that like extra draw to right. have some more cards again to be more defensive, yeah. which not the problem. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, dig I, I, it. I'm, I'm definitely interested. Like, I, I think we could change the the attack lineup completely. Right, if, if you move away from ranged, you move away from monster blast. The attack lineup's just totally different. Um, because you, you're not playing frigid if you're not playing mostly ranged. Um, if you start moving to like brutal explosion, which is just fury. Man, this card's the most. Actually, a blank card of all time in your deck, huh? Hey, it. I it, I did it once. Okay. I see. killed people with it. It has powerful. Okay. All right. We're gonna see if we can find. It did. Else. It did. It did thirteen one time. Is there any other low attack that we can <laughs> mess with? Um, even if it's not ranged, because we have we have so many ranged cards, we only need six in there. Range attack low. Uh oh, we have to click this. Um. Yo, you get vocal discord in the in the next set? <laughs> no, please, no. <laughs> no, you get it. Uh, Howitzer no. Impact kills people. Howitzer Impact kills the fuck out of people. We could totally play that over Detonation long term. You'll probably find more success. <laughs> <laughs> I know kids very fast. How much momentum did you get? Um, enough to use for like a powerful or two. Okay. Yeah, not a lot. So uh, options... because the game, the games I won, I was killing them in like three or four attacks. Um, that hit right, so I wasn't banking up a bunch of momentum. But I, I killed people with Ice Storm, the powerful on that. Killed people with Detonation Launchers, powerful. Use the giant ice wall stun. I, I was keeping like one or two for when I need it, but it wasn't like a huge key factor in the deck. Okay, so here's here's what I want to do. You ready? I want to take giant ice wall and I want to put it up to a four of. I want to I want to cut destination launcher out. Right? It's a it, you you wouldn't play a four low for five powerful one card just because it has the ranged keyword. Now when we've got twenty one attacks in our deck, we've got we've got eighteen ranges. We'll be fine. We will be fine drawing the this, this stuff. It'll be okay. Um, so let's let's cut detonation launcher out altogether. I'm gonna put it in the sideboard so it still exists, and then you get you get your choice. You've got so many options. You have howitzer impact, which if you've destroyed a foundation, gets uh, a little easier to play. Um, a little tougher in our deck. We have recipro burst, which just gets fast and also gets damage right for the momentum you have, and then you have corrosion lunge. Which says if it's blocked, your next one gets speed and damage, which is everything you want. Right? It's just another big opener. Um, the yeah. thing about uh, the card that we just cut was it was a high block. Recipro Burst is that same high block. How it's impact is a better high block. Um, I think the answer is Recipro Burst, honestly. That makes sense. It's already in the board because uh, I was sideboarding in the Eda one for this tournament. Um... Yeah, we should just play. We just mainboard two of them. Now we have two more sideboard slots. How sick! Yeah, yeah or there's two in the mainboard and just four in the sideboard. 
<laughs> cheat. Sick. <laughs> cheat. Love it. <laughs> Uh, and then the other thing that I think that we should do, plus ultra. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, um, yeah. Plus ultra is just like, hey man, I hit you with a momentum. All right, this is guy. Do I need speed? Here's speed. Do I need damage? Here's damage. It's it's just it's just so versatile. Um, I yeah, think how, like two, how many, if not three. That's um, what I was gonna ask. How many are you thinking? Uh, like with discard, <laughs> self assured, yeah. right? Um, this is like the easiest block of all time. Um. Yeah, I was worried about like going higher than seven actions. Uh, maybe, like maybe sugar rush just isn't worth it. Um, How many times did you activate it? A lot. It sounds worth it to me, right? To the, yeah. So maybe maybe uh, we take. That, we that put was the one Yeah, it was that one game I was in chat talking about afterwards that I triple sugar rush power up somebody and yeah. killed them from twenty. This or so, I killed them. I killed them from full health. So here's what just, this is actually doing for me. You ready? This is actually wanting me to take the fire Todoroki one deck that I that I play on stream sometimes and just put Shigaraki in the sideboard and see what happens, right? Play like an eighty card Shigaraki list, <laughs> <laughs> um, and just like kill people that way. I think that sounds sick. That sounds sick to me. Um, uh, any reason we're not playing four defrosting? Uh, no, I no. Mean, just block zones, card count. No, not not in particular. Sure. I was not playing for heroic, um, and they're like the wombo combo. Um, I I think it was really good. I probably would change it to be three of both, um, but I don't know. Irrefutable would probably go down to two. Um, just like some minor tweaks like that. Making a stand was not very good uh, on the weekend. It sucks. was hey, I guess what Chaco was very good. True. Yeah, that, that <laughs> sounds great. We just open up two slots in our sideboard. Let's put it in there, huh? This card has stun. This card doesn't have stun. We just put in a stun, so it had one target with exp with giant ice wall that you could you could use it on. The other card didn't have stun. It was half a card. It was half a man. <laughs> you can give a card stun with giant ice wall, and then it's more slightly. It was not a good card. It was not a <laughs> best choice I've ever made. Uh, I'm here's, not going to argue with you. Here's my, here's my thoughts on defrosting, right? Um, if you need speed, you give it speed. If you need damage, you give it damage, right? If you need if you need damage, then you don't need the speed, right? If you need speed, the minus one damage. It, this card says uh, plus two, plus four of the character. Yeah. Or maybe even like plus, f if you have two of them, plus four, plus three, right? Which is like insane stats for discarding the top. I actually think Defrosting is sick in Shigaraki, and I'm surprised I haven't thought of it before. Yeah, mostly it was there to go with Heroic Lineage for that, um, like, hey, your attack gets minus four speed, I'm definitely blocking it. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna, like, if I'm self-assured, I'm gonna self-assure it to the zone I need it to be, and then I'm gonna Breaker block you with it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually like Defrosting a ton of this deck. Holy cow. I mean, this just this is giving me more reason to play play Shigaraki in my, my sideboard for Todoroki 1, right? Yeah. This deck was really good. I, like, it's gonna sound like coping. The rounds I lost, I felt like I was in control of the game, and I lost because I tried to kill them instead of just build to pass, block everything, and never die after I won game 1. That's a strap. That's totally a strap. It's not one I like. Um, I'm just not a fan of that play style, but on webcam games, it's probably what's going to end up happening if I win long game ones from now on, uh, because winning is more fun than losing. I mean, you're, you're playing you're playing Shigaraki, right? Like like he's a he is a control character, and he should be treated as such. That 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 uh that bottom response is just as potent on the character as the top response, right? The top response should be helping you win the game, not being like what you what you're demanded to do, right? If he if if his if his top response was more than once per turn, that he'd want you to play more than one attack a turn, right? The the minimum requirement you have on Shigaraki is to play an attack a turn and, and force them to deal with your your once per turn, right? After that, just respond block, commit their commit their board, do their stuff. Um, and if we make that attack really good, right, with the frosting or whatever, you force them to have the attack. The hell yeah, block your heart out. I like League interview. How do you feel about Ergon disposition? Um, I think it's I, I thought it was very good on the weekend. Um. Low Every play a maker, right? Um, I just want to put it down to yeah, maybe look. a two of to, to spread out our zones a little bit or spread out spread out uh, our options, right? Because we still sure. like we don't even have go for the win in the deck, and that's like, shucks. 
right? And I, th I think yeah. Oath of the Wind like needs to be in the deck, which is okay. crazy because we're playing <laughs> thousand actions. Uh, <laughs> but Go for the Win also lets us rebuild cards, right? Like it counts as two foundations if we're behind. Um, but yeah. the chances of us being behind, like uh, the way they beat Shigaraki is you say that like they just build to the moon and they don't like attack into us. Mm -hmm. And so like, Go for the Win like helps us helps us do that and also helps us get over the wall. I don't know. It's it's interesting. I'm down to try it out. I'm gonna take this deck to a locals at a different store than the one I usually go to this weekend. I think. Um, and Did just try out whatever changes we think. Not really. It was 17 uh, before we started touching stuff. Okay. Um, but not really. Okay. Uh, too self assured helped um, on the times I needed it. Um. I mean, yeah, too deep. There's two in the deck. Right, 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 right. Um, main boarded fulfilled my duty. What's up with that? Um, Momo and decks like that that are like really enhance heavy, right? They do their one thing and then pass, and then I get the enhanced step. Um, Momo quick creates something into the card pool that she wants to build down. I'll end the enhanced step. Uh, Asui flips to ready herself with a. Two card, two attacks of the card pool. She wants to kick one. I'll end the enhanced step. That has to stay there. Um, just a lot of like tech pieces. The decks, I, there was a lot of decks. I thought it was not necessarily back breaking, but very good against um, Shoto two. He gives it stun two as his first enhance, and then I fulfilled my duty. Sure, I destroyed a foundation, but you wasted an enhance on your character. You wasted one of your once per turns. Um, yeah, it it was not the best card in the deck. You know, I think as a role player, one of might be fine, but I probably wouldn't cut it completely. I, man, when you said the thing about I was I was here for you until you said Todoroki. You just turned Todoroki into like a better, more offensive version of your character. <laughs> Enhance <Maybe>. your opponent <laughs> destroys one foundation. <laughs> that seems like when you put it in that in that context, right? It's like enhance they destroy one, go to block steps. No, it's not uh, great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Todoroki 2 likes to throw one big attack, right? Like, he likes yeah. to give it 2-2, two, two, give it stun 2, stun for you, or whatever. And you're just like, okay, you, if you only had one... I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. Whatever. His, his, his Stopping a giant ice wall seems okay. In a, in a vacuum, in a vacuum, when you said, I'll give it stun 2, and then I'll do the enhanced step, I was like, that sucks. <laughs> just, <laughs> just stun me. What are you doing? Um... <laughs> So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a, fit a second frozen in your deck to just help you yeah. commit down foundations to get the get the poke in and make the uh, make the um, when you block feel a little bit better because um, like I'm it'll putting... destroy their thing and then you commit a, an additional one right and also like any of these flipped cards like calling for backup keen observation um, uh, arrogant uh, latent skill uh, league interview if you need to. Forcing surrender, they now just become fuel for extra stun, right? Um, yep. Like you become Todoroki uh, too if you've got double frozen and ice wall on the board. Yeah, are we definitely putting go for the win in the deck? I'm down to put go for the win in the deck if we take Sugar Rush and bring it down to a duev and we put double go for the win. We'll play 10 actions, but two of them are nine actions, but two of them let you build cards uh, whenever you're going essentially going second. Um, or like like your opponent just like tries to outbuild you real quick. Um, this card also beats Breaker, um, and this card like accidentally feels really good with Recipro Burst. And the other thing about Frozen is it also feels good with Recipro Burst. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, the reason I was asking is is Irrefutable Force of Nature felt pretty mediocre all weekend. Um, so I was thinking about dropping that down to a two. I think but two's block great. zones, um, block zones were a little iffy because I was already a little low on lows. I don't want to cut too many of them. I agree with that. But this is also a better low than what we got going on for Irrefutable. And yep. you need to see your two Irrefutable. Uh, you need to see Irrefutable on the board if you're going to fight Momo because you have to turn off Rescue Completed. Um, I was in a coaching session earlier today and I was like, yo, what does Irrefutable Force do against uh, Momo? And it's literally, it literally says that every time you have Irrefutable Force, they don't get to play uh, uh, um, uh, Observant Student and they don't get to play uh, Rescue Completed. 
Like, and those those cards will kill you if you go to deadlock. Uh, sorry, uh, one of them will kill you when you go to deadlock. One of them says that they'll you'll they'll never you'll never touch them because they have minus yeah, four speed on every move. They block everything. Yeah, I was thinking about cutting Orange. one of the main moving moving. <laughs> um, I think there was none in the board originally. I was going to put either one or the other two in the board. I love that. Uh, we did make room with the main double. Deck it felt, yeah, main deck it felt like pretty mediocre. I wasn't super impressed with it. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um. We can I cut one of these fulfills for one more frozen? You may, yeah. Love it. It's totally chill if you go after this video and and you go back and you and you change it. But for right now, I just need you to be like, wow, damn, you're a genius. Right. <laughs> no, it, it's it's okay. <laughs> like I said, it, it was a, it was a role player, right? So mm -hmm. I put two in the main, one in the side. Bring it in if I go to Ida, just as that. Like, I'll take the first one. You don't get enhanced step. I'm a block. Um, on like as like an emergency like. Break glass in case, break glass in case of emergency. But right, right? like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it, it's just a role player. Role players should probably be at one and one in the side rather than three in the deck total. That is so. So the the other thing is right. Like you said, you had an issue killing people, and this is a defensive card, like a defensive disruptive card, and this is an aggro card, right? This says that any yep. move you want has done one, um, which lets you kill people um yep. so like that that small change might just like might just be the the difference um what number 65 good is that what we started with i oh. think so yeah i'm okay. good with what i'm good with any number but yeah i think 65 is where i started um oh i have the deck I... it yeah. was 66 it was 66 so we could toss in another card maybe another low block in um, we could toss back in. Oh, we could toss in a heroic. We could toss back in uh, the irrefutable. I know that I took out an arrogant disposition. We could toss that right back in. Um, is there anything down here that we could really look at? No, not really. If it were yeah, me, I, like the, I would uh... pick irrefutable, um, just because looking at the top sixteen that we had, I want to say like seven of them were fire earth or water decks <laughs> and then the other ones were playing life uh which like have crazy amount of uh water, water earth cards and then like like the good symbol has a ton of earth cards and like 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 there's this like there's like a lot that irrefutable touches right now yeah that makes sense i'm down for that i was gonna say i was gonna say arrogant disposition because it's a better block and hits like back alley um but back alley is not as threatening um on its face, there is five damage. Uh, if I have to not block it, I can do that. 16 spams is a little light. I'm actually going to push us, push this back up. Also, you have one of the best back alley hates in the biz, and that's Ice Storm and destroy one of their foundations that they build in. So they don't get the plus with their back alleys. Um, yeah, I, I, and I evil gaze it right. most of the time. Right. <laughs> Yeah, back alley, back alley actually like comes out against you <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> um, just be, and, and we also just put in plus ultra at the one of. So like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm down for it. <laughs> Yo, can you can you imagine have a have a uh, you play you play monster blast? Oh, this is sick. You have two momentum. You play monster blast, ender cipro burst, selectively destroy one of their cool cards. Um. Uh, stun them one, get the speed, EX, uh, uh, plus ultra, and then you hit them, or you, you plus ultra the, the speed, so it gets, it gets massive, and then you hit them and burn them for the extra five. Oof. That seems fucking sick. <laughs> Holy cow. Recipro burst Shigaraki. How sweet. Yeah, man. Deck was sweet. I got, I got a lot of fun with it last, uh, like, week and a half. I built it, uh, like, week, man, like I said, like a week and a half ago for some locals. Just uh, one of our locals loves Shigaraki, and I was like, huh, I think this character is, like, kind of primed to do something pretty good. Yeah. I was not the person to do it. Obviously, Jose did. Um, but I wanted to wanted to try it for, for the locals. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything in here that, that you ve vehemently disagree with? No. I think this all looks pretty good, yeah. Um, you didn't say anything or change anything that I hadn't already, like, kind of thought about. I hadn't really considered moving Recipro Burst to the main. 
Uh, but it makes sense, uh, and I'm down for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. I absolutely love it. I, I this deck has got me giving me a lot of ideas, which is like the main reason that I do these deck doctors. Is it lets me it lets me you know flex flex Jeez. my 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 brain as well. That's cool. You get to steal them. I get to steal them, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> There's the real scam. You pay me money so I can steal your decks. <laughs> There it Dang. is. It's a racket. <laughs> Gotta get the hustle somehow. For man. sure, for sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> I will send you your deck list. Thanks for the support, man. I appreciate it. See you, dude. All right, peace. <laughs>